they focused on the Stanford Research Institute. Hal Putoff was a physicist there. In the 1970s, the CIA employed him to start research on telepathy. When the uh, CIA first approached us, what they brought with them was documentation, which was absolutely, to me, mind-boggling. Uh, it was hundreds of pages listing dozens of high-level Soviet institutes that were putting full-time effort on this. Well, to be honest, I was shocked. I, I really didn't expect this. And uh, <clears throat> I have to admit that even after 13 years of being in charge of the project, which grew into a multi-million dollar project, still, toward the end, every time I'd go into an experiment, I'd say to myself, what am I doing here? This can't possibly work. Um, so it was uh, it certainly cut across the grain. The main method he used was the double blind method. A sealed envelope was taken from a locked safe and given to a subject. In this case, put off himself. Inside the envelope, on a folded paper, a location was written. The subject would then drive to the destination inside. In a wire cage back in the Institute sat a viewer with a guard. The cage was to prevent the possible influence of electromagnetic waves. In this experiment, Putoff's destination was a nearby yacht harbor. The remote viewer drew a picture of what he visualized from reading Putoff's mind. Time and again, the viewer got it right. We put remote viewers on submarines, for example, and uh, take them into the ocean to where we had enough seawater shielding, which is a conductive shield, which should shield electromagnetic signals, uh, even at very low frequencies. And they would, they would still perform admirably. So uh, not being able to pinpoint a mechanism was, was always something that was swimming around the back of my mind and uh, was still a challenge.